I don't know how y'all are finding this because I can't even find it. What the hell? Oh, there I am. Well, that took forever. Good morning. Well, what's going on today? What's happening? Can you hear me good? Music okay? I hope sure. I hope sure. I hope sure. I have two more orders to do, so I am going to be split attention for a few more minutes. I have to get uh, all this done. And then you will have my attention 100%. Sound good? Oh Lord. He's got jokes today. He's got jokes. Maybe that's why he's a clown. Jason's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please welcome to the stage Biggs the Clown. Biggs the soon to be chainsaw wielding maniac of his haunt. It's gonna be epic. So, good morning. I'm gonna try out this new uh, pretzel radio. Uh, royalty free radio station for live streaming and see if Facebook kicks me off like it did with uh, Monster Cat as it, with Monster Cat it wouldn't even like ping me it would just kick me off It'd be like nope we we're gonna find out today and I and I and I even put it on the stream in multiple areas to try to make sure that Facebook could see that it's what it is you know what I mean If it works, I'll give everybody the secret and tell them how to do it. But I'm not sure it's going to work because every time I use anything other than Facebook's SoundCloud music, I get booted. But we're going to try it. It's also because I broadcast in radio definition too. I, I, I broadcast in high definition audio and video. So. It might be that they're just getting everything, you know, hardcore. They're kind of jerks like that though. So, well, what are you gonna do? Two orders left. Let's get some of the comments here. Uh, good morning, Joyster. Charlie, good morning. Hello, Jason. Charles bit my finger. Oh, Jesus. Leanne, good morning. Debbie, good morning. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm still working. Um, I've got two more orders to do, so my attention is going to be kind of split for a little bit. But I is our here, and we are testing out uh, what's called Pretzel Radio. It's a royalty-free radio station that uh, is... For streamers and uh, monster cat every time I use the monster cat royalty free radio station Facebook kicks me off so we're going to see if they kick me offline with this one my thing is why would you want to stream on a format that kicks you off if you do anything from anywhere else it's just ridiculous 
So let's hope that Facebook has their crap together and can see all of the posted signs I have up that this is a royalty free radio station and can do their research and not kick me off today. That would be brilliant. That would be fantastic. Uh, good morning, uh, David. Good morning, um, was it Alice? Good morning, Alice's. Alice's Piper. Y'all speak amongst each other for a few minutes while I finish this order. And I will, or these orders, and I got two left. And well, I'm one after this one. And then I promise you my attention will be to you guys. I just have to uh, finish work. I'm running behind simply because I made a new background today and did all the research on this radio station that we're listening to to see if Facebook's going to be a douche. I'm hoping that they're not. But you never can tell with the Facebook. And I'm in a really blah mood today. I'm feeling much better. The fever is broken, but I'm just in a shite mood. So you guys are going to help me get out of the mood. What do you think about that? So we've talked about a bunch of things in this room in the morning feeds that are positively, positivity, positively motivated. God, I can't speak. Um, but I will tell you this, uh, I've said it before and I don't think people can listen because of ADD, but, um, if you jump in and out of a room, if you're watching a feed and you jump in and out of the room, you're actually doing nothing but hurting the person that you're watching, like jumping in a room and saying hi and then leaving that uh, takes their audience retention down to wrap. So let's say I have seven people in here that are watching straight, straight watching all the way through, but then I have six people or seven people jump in and say, hey, just here to support you, bye, and leave. Then what it does is it says that half of the people that are watching my stream didn't like it and didn't stay. Audience retention goes poop. The more audience retention, uh, let's just say deficit that you have, the less you're, be, you're able to see. Like I go live and it only tells yesterday, it told 30 people out of 3,300, it told 30 people that I went live. So just a, just a quick heads up for anybody that you're supporting. Make sure you stay in at least 10 seconds to get the 10 second view. Um, would be really awesome of you guys on anybody, like on anybody you're watching. Um, Facebook is constantly changing their algorithms and I try to stay on top of it the most I can, but, uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, head to work, Alice. We love you. Have a good day. You accept the challenge to cheer me up. Okay, excellent. Good morning, Barbie. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not. I'm not upset. I'm not sad. I'm just in a blah mood. In a kind of want to stab somebody in the face mood. Is that a is that a mood stabby in the facey mood? I think it is. And that's the mood I'm in, a stabby in the facey mood. It is the second day of October, which is the means the second day of Halloween. Uh, for you guys that are Halloween nuts like me, and that's awesome. I dog it. All right, this one's almost done. And we can go to the next one. I gotta check the pitch though, damn it. Alright, let's see. Barbie, good morning, what's up? Hey chick, hey joyster. Morning, David. Alright, so mm -hmm. 
going to check the pitch on this and then we've got one more to do and then I'm all yours. That's five. So I got to make an adjustment. I do have my camera up. That's me over the top of the radio. Uh, so yeah, so like I said before, we're testing out this new radio station and we're gonna see, it's a uh, royalty free radio called Pretzel Radio. And I'm gonna see if it knocks me off Facebook or Facebook knocks me off because of it like they do with monster cat radio so it is a royalty free radio 100 percent royalty free and you can use it i know for a fact you can use it on youtube and on mixer um we're gonna see if youtube will accept it or uh, facebook will accept it let's see uh everyone has an amazing day it's gonna be October 12th at 12.30. Hell yeah, Joshua. You're going to have to remind me, though, because I am a goofball and can't remember anything. I even missed Big's feed yesterday, and I fully intended to make it. And about 6.30, I was like, man, I need to take a nap before I go to work tonight. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I got nothing going on. Okay, looks good. Yeah, all right, lay down, go to sleep. Woke up and was like, damn it, missed Big's feed. That was at 7. Son of a biscuit eater so I was pretty upset but I made sure that I went back and I watched the entire thing I commented on it I did the like I did the share I did everything so he'd at least get the retention from it because that all counts after the fact too All right, so. Hello, Scott. Yeah, if you remind us all, we'll be there. You're just going to have to remind us because. Good Lord. Oh, and of course, the last house has got some jacked up looking weird thing over here in the corner what in the world is this this what is this Ugh. all right we can do this we got this yo so um so far we're doing good on the radio um, I don't know if because I have it in the in the actual stream twice if that matters or because I have it in the title um, but this is a royalty free radio and like I said every time I tried to use monster cat Facebook would just literally end my stream it wouldn't even get you know how like they ping some people they're like hey stop using this music if you continue to use this music you're gonna get you know, kicked off live. No, they just knocked me off live stream. They're like, nope, we don't like you. So we're going to try this one and we're going to see if it works properly. We hope so. We hope so. The only eight, eight, eight. 
we're going to find out. This needs to be So we're, we're, I mean, it, you can see the little camera up there over the radio. I'm still working. I've got one more to do. And then we are free. Just saying. It might be a minute. 32.6. Because we're trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get done. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. It just might take a minute. Can you guys hear me good? Can you still hear me good? Because I'm not really talking that loud. Uh, I'm hoping you can hear me. I can't see. Because I'm trying to knock this roof out very quickly. So I can concentrate on the live stream. <clears throat> and get y'all some good early afternoon, morning thing. Whatever the hell time it is. I think it's daytime. It's nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime for me. It's so close to bedtime. That makes me happy. Cows. I need the sleeps. Ross said he was busy, but told me to tell everyone hello. Okay, hello. Got yes. Didn't even hear music near my feed. Facebook needed half my feed. Good morning, Abaddon. Oh, good morning, Donna. Good morning. Sorry, I was I was looking. Yeah, Facebook is very particular about what music you use. And that is why I'm trying different options. I don't like the fact that with their sound, with their sound music, I have to keep hitting the next song. Once the song ends, you have to hit play again for the next song. I don't like that. So I like being able to just turn something on and let it go. And Facebook doesn't have that yet because they don't care to have that yet. I guess I don't know. So. I try different things and I don't want to put a, a radio near the near the thing and play music in the background and have it half or play half speed or twice the speed music. I'd rather play true musical. You know. I like uh I like real music. It looks like I got interrupted for a second. I don't know why. Doesn't say anything. So did it? Uh, did it get it? Did it get interrupted? Am I still here? It doesn't show a ping. And then I'm not receiving a video signal from a source from some time. All right, so am I am I am I blinking out here and coming back, guys? Because um, Facebook is saying that it's not receiving video. Check the connectivity between the source and Facebook for source resolution and bitrate. Check your video and quarter for details. 
Um, yeah, so am, are, am I blinking? Like, is it is it pausing on you guys? Because, or can you even see me? Because for some reason, Facebook is saying, I don't have any dropped frames here. Well, I do have dropped frames. I have 8.751 dropped frames. I wonder why. Huh. There we go. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I had to scroll the thing too. Just bumps you, then now you're back. Yeah. It's it's saying that I, I'm losing uh video. Like it's not got video for some reason. Um when I'm obviously broadcasting. So I guess it maybe drop frames because of me working. I don't know. I don't know why. Um but it's not saying anything about the music. So that's that's a good test. You know, and that was the main thing I wanted to test out. Um, it could be the new graphics from OBS that's causing it to uh, to lag out as far as video goes, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Um, let me let me try one more thing here let me i'm almost done with this roof guys so as soon as i get done with this roof i'll be able to pay more attention and then we'll figure everything out together and we'll be amazing and have fun and all that good shite all good all right Looks like I got one more little roof to put in. And we'll try it out here. See, I got interrupted again. Yeah, I don't think it's the music doing it. It's it's a video. it's Facebook itself it's not uh... all right so it's it's Facebook itself it's not it's not my video encoder Facebook itself is lagging out which I think is in Google Chrome so it might be that I need to just clear out my cache and uh, and then re rebuff everything up I think we're gonna be good um but i don't know and i'm talking fast because i don't know how if it's gonna blink out again or not um it did really well for a minute there but then it it, it did the same little poopy thing so we will see i think that uh we're gonna be okay with this we just have to check it out so i'm almost done with this roof as soon as i'm done with this roof we will move on and, and uh, I'll be able to do a little more research and check this shit out and make sure we're good. All right, so just give me a couple seconds here. All right. I think it's supposed to be more in. We're gonna drop it in another foot. I'm gonna drag this up. I think that's good. That's what they're getting regardless. Combine. And 
And is there a PDF on it? Yes, there is. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? And guys, it's only going to be just a few more minutes and I'll be with everybody. I know that we're losing some people and people got to go to work and go get kids from school and all that good stuff. And I get it. I understand. And I'm trying to get everything working out. I also know that Facebook is being silly and, and losing signal every once in a while. I do not know why because I have amazing internet. When I say amazing, I have one gig per second internet. So I know it's not my speed. Um, I have the best internet available. It's literally one gig gigabyte download per second and 500 megabytes upload a second. To live stream, you have to have like 10 and five, like 10 megabytes and five megabytes. I have like a thousand. Yes. Five point four eight and sixty point eight eight. I know it's not my internet. My computer is top notch. Nine eight three eight. Or I wouldn't be able to run all of the CAD programs that I'm running and everything else right now. Plus, be live streaming every single morning like I do. So I'll be able to check the comments here in a few minutes. I'm almost done with work. I see your mini you with your nose in the corner. Yes. I'm running out of high speed data. Dang it. One joystick. My phone did a new update. I don't know if I like it or not. I haven't like Windows the last two years ago. Holy crap, that's quick. Yes. Yes, my internet is very fast. I download games in literal seconds. Like when I go to Steam and stuff. I usually lag out the other server. I've done that before too. Um, my computer is set up to work at six gigabytes per second. So my actual computer can run at six gigabytes per second and my internet is one gigabyte per second. So, um, I know it's not my computer either. And copy data transfer. We are so almost done. Paste select items. This one, send, close, connect. Connect through the net. You're away. Done. Down. Down. Close. Over here. There we go. All right. Good morning. Now that I'm actually done with work and now I can pay attention to everything, let me get my microphone set up here and let's go through some of the comments and say good morning to everybody and make sure everything's good. And uh, we'll have our topic for the day here in just a minute. Um, we are off work. So now that I'm here, why don't you do me a favor and smash that heart button, smash that share button. Um, smash that I love myself button because you need to love yourself too uh, let's see here let me go back up you can hear me yay I'm fine woke up late Courtney blah 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 uh, phone updates you've got my full attention holy crap that's quick yes Facebook algorithms being moody that is true mine gets one gig per five minutes feels like ten Good morning, Haunted Hunting Miners. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, great feeds, Honey Miner. Absolutely, yeah, great feeds. I love watching the Haunted Honey Miners. They are amazing. Um, Joyster the Clown is in here. Biggs the Clown is might still be in here. I'm not sure. I think he is. Um, two of two of my friends that I think you should go watch as well. But now, Haunted Honey, Haunted Honey Mooners, you need to check out their feeds. 
they should have their schedule up on their facebook you can go check it out and see what's up with them that's cool that is my camera on top of the radio i will raise my hand and wave at you and you will see me that is the back of my head at the bottom of the screen that is my command center you see with my six screens i really am sitting here so y'all get to see a little behind the scenes this morning and uh we'll get to talk a little bit now facebook has been um lagging out saying i don't have video so and it looks like it's lagged out again am i lagged out again i can't tell oh facebook facebook kills me i'm telling you all right there we go so it looks like we caught back up there okay so we're back here now um <coughs> we got one chair so far thank you so much for that one chair <laughs> anyway we got joyster we got jason still in here david Sargent. we got uh uh barbie courtney leanne is still here andrew Sargent's here and donna good morning everybody i'm so glad y'all popped in here and you're hanging out and i'm glad that you hung out with me long enough to let me get my work done now, Facebook has been, like I said, uh, interrupting my feed saying I have no video, but I obviously have video. Um, they are not, they haven't interrupted me for my music yet, which I'm kind of really happy about. Um, being that this is a um, royalty fee radio station, Pretzel Rock. I put it up on the screen twice. It's in the chat box and it's in the little thing right there. You can see exactly what's playing, how long it got left of the song, what song it is, by who's it by, so on and so forth everything on there uh and it's in the title of things so hopefully they're not going to ping the crap out of me put up some new graphics this morning you got um as you can see threw that up facebook is official abaddon apollyon which is what we're on right now and then uh twitter tiktok and instagram is monster underscore abaddon all right so we had a long talk yesterday about a bunch of different things. Um, I really enjoyed our talk yesterday. I, um, yeah, New Orleans, we have found Central Command at my house. Yes, that's right. I am Central Command. If there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I have it. I've got everything lined up with all the cameras and uh, all the ammo and the weapons that I need. Absolutely. But uh, I'm not worried about the zombie apocalypse. I'm more worried about the 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 shithead apocalypse, which is already upon us. <laughs> you like that, don't you? So I do want to move this though. I did note. I just noticed that my chat box is overhanging over here. I don't want that. I want that that way, like right there. There we go. That looks better. So welcome back, Debbie. Good morning, Ann. I am feeling much better. Future almost set up not to need face. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, you're almost set up not to need Facebook. Yeah, I know, right? I, I could actually broadcast to my own website. The, the What I'm using Facebook for is to reach the 3.2K or 3.3K followers I have. And like yesterday, that's what I was saying yesterday, with, with, without feet, with, you know, with, with the audience retention, of people popping in and out and you know it takes shares it takes comments it takes likes and that and builds your worth with facebook so it's an algorithm they have the more likes the more shares and the more people you have talking in the chat room the more people can see your feed yesterday's feed out of 3.2 thousand people or 3.3 thousand people on my fan page it showed it to 30 people 30 people actually got to see that i was live it didn't show that I was live to anyone else. That's Facebook. Thanks, Facebook. So when people wonder why their lives aren't getting more traction, it all boils down to who's in your live feed and how much they interact in your live feed. The more that they interact, the more people that can see it. So, and like I said, that takes the hearts, the likes button, the heart buttons, the share, the and the, and the chatting. The chatting in it is very important. The more people chatting, the more people will see it. So that's a little algorithm, Facebook algorithm moment. And uh, yeah, so if you like someone, if you want to watch somebody and support them as a live feeder, then what you need to do is pop in their room 
and uh, stick around in the room because here's how it works. And then I said this before. Let's say that I have seven people. I've got 12 people in here right now. If I have 12 people in here, I start the live feed. I've got 12 people in and they plan on being in for the entire feed. And then I have 12 people that pop in. They're like, oh, I want to support them. I'm going to go in and say, hey, they pop in. They say, hey, they stay three seconds. They leave. Well, your audience retention now goes. So you got 12 people staying the whole time. You got 12 people that pop in and leave. Your audience retention is at 50%. Facebook believes that 50% of the people that have come into your room don't care what you say and are not entertained. So therefore, they knock you down on the list. You follow what I'm saying? Now, the more people that do that, the less you're going to have. If you go back, like for Haunted, Haunted Honeymooners, for example, if you go look at your 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 um, insights on your videos and you go down to your audience retention, you watch, it'll go up, it'll be up for a little bit, and it'll go down, and it'll stay about zero. And that comes from people coming in, saying hey, and leaving. A lot of people don't understand this algorithm. So when they, they think that they're doing good by coming in and giving you a three second or 10 second video view, and it does help, but it also hurts with the retention. So there's some little insights on Facebook and how their algorithms work, and why it's so important and if you wanna support someone that you stay in their feed. What I normally do is if I'm watching someone and I've got things to do, I mute it, I leave it up, I just mute it, and I go on with work and go on what I'm doing. So you'll see me a lot of times, I'll pop into feeds and I'll be like, hey guys, I'm working, uh, but I'm listening. Or And I'll and I'll, I'll minimize, I have it up there on the side, I'm just not paying attention to it, but I'm listening to what's going on, and then if I, something happens, I just mute it, and then I move forward. That way they get a full view, and, uh, and so on and so forth. The other thing, um, that you have to do is the commenting, the, the hearts, the comments, and the shares. The more comments and the more shares you have, the more people see it. Now, of course, you know, well, of course, if you share it out, you're more people are gonna see it. What it means is when you share it to your your page, not only can your people see it, but instead of like the last show I did, um, out of 3.3 thousand people, it showed Facebook showed 30 people that I was online. That's it. Out of 3.3K, 30 people got notified that I was online. For every share, it adds one or two people. So if every person in there shares right now, 12 people share right now, then that means possibly 20 to 24 more people will be notified that I'm live. You follow what I'm saying? So now the people that you share it to, like you share it to your page, you will get a certain percentage, which is two, I think it's two to 3% of your people will actually be able to see that you shared it. So the more people that they share it off of your page, so on and so forth, that's how it works. It works off of basically a 2% program, which really sucks. But that's why a lot of your live streamers, when they're in there, they're like, hey, hit the share button, share, 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 because what they're trying to do is they're trying to get their Facebook worth up so more people can see the feed and more people can interact. So therefore it goes up on their list and more of their fans can see that they've gone live. The other thing that I've seen people do here recently, start doing recently, is they've been setting up a mass chat um, and inviting all of like, you know, like literally 3.3 thousand people and sending out a text, I'm going live now. Um, and that kind of gets around the algorithm, but it also annoys a lot of people that uh, don't really care to watch your feeds at seven o'clock in the morning, so on and so forth. But like, for example, Haunted, Haunted Honeymooners has a set time at night. If y'all do a, if you work with your people, work with your fans and you make a like a mailing list basically then you could send out an email notification or a text notification to your fans letting them know that you're going live and that's something that i'm going to be starting to do so i'm going to set up on the website a basically a mailing list so they can you can go in sign in which i don't have it up yet but you'll be able to put your email address in and then when i go live i'll have an email pop out to everybody saying hey we're going live on um facebook or on mixer or wherever we're going to go live on so there's a little information for you for you guys that are live streamers or just fans the more information you have the better you'll be equipped to be an awesome fan or an awesome streamer
So I hope that helped you this morning. Good morning, Wyland. Good morning, Chantel. Yeah, so that's just a little information. Good morning, Roberta. A little information. So we've talked uh, the last week about knowing your worth, knowing, uh, earning your worth or, or, or creating your worth, knowing your worth and being the best person that you can be. We've learned, we've talked about um, how just because someone cannot see your value, it does not diminish your worth. So if somebody doesn't understand how awesome you are, that's on them. It's not on you. Uh, we've talked about um, how to handle certain situations with jerks at work or people that cut you off and so on and so forth. We've talked about a lot of things about how we uh, should feel as human beings. And one of the things that uh, I really wanted to you know, talk about this morning um, is kind of a conundrum of everything. It's kind of like putting everything together and shaking it up in a bag of monkeys because the world, the problem with this world is, and I'm, this, I've said this I think a couple weeks ago, the problem with the world is, is we are so auto-tuned into the negative. So therefore, when somebody goes, hey, you dumb bastard, we're like, yeah, I know, I have problems, blah, 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 blah. You know, but if somebody goes, hey, you're beautiful, we have a tendency to roll our eyes or like, whatever, you know, we're so tuned in to, to the negative feed that we forgot how to take positive feed. And because we've taken, forgotten how to take positive feed from other people, we have forgotten to take it from ourselves. Okay. We have to start the positivity in ourselves in order to create that worth that we were talking about in order to know your worth. I said yesterday, if you want to see somebody that's freaking amazing, go stand in the mirror because of all the crap you have been through, you're still standing. And each and every one of you I know has walked through your own personal hell. You have done it. You have burnt the soles off your shoes walking through your own hell. I know it. And you've survived. You've made it. You can go stand in front of a mirror and you're a winner, you're a champion, you are something, you are amazing because you made it. Now, every day we have struggles and every day you have to remind yourself that. We've also talked about, um, you know, knowing the word being, you know, all of, all of this stuff. We also talked about, um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. I saw an angry face go by and I lost my train of thought. Who the hell is angry? Oh, there's another one. Stop being angry <laughs> or be mad. I don't care. It's okay. You want to be mad? You be mad, little champ. But uh, no, seriously, it's uh, it's all about you have to respect yourself. Um, we've said it many times. The way you allow someone to speak to you one time will become the normal way that everyone speaks to you. So don't let someone disrespect you. Tell them. You're not going to talk to me that way and walk away. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. You sometimes even the most beta of personalities, the people that do not like conflict, you have to stand up and be an alpha at some point and say, you're not going to speak to me that way. And walk away. Trust me, there's no need to argue. There's no need to get mad. There's no need to, to fight, fuss, holler, cry, moan, bitch, nothing. Just you're not going to do it. And walk away once you do that it's a freeing emotion it frees you and allows you to move forward you will notice that once you do that and you you get it in your mind you set it in your mind that this is the way I'm not going to be treated this is the way I am going to be treated that it will spread like wildfire for example I've done this at work. I've done this in my past. I speak from experience. I had somebody come in and they were like, hey, no, I'm nuts. Da, 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 da. And I looked at them and I was like, uh, you're not going to speak to me that way. Uh, this is a professional environment and I'm here to do a job. You will not speak to me that way. And he said something else. And I was like, no, do you understand? You will not speak to me that way. You speak with me respectfully or don't speak to me at all. And I said that and everyone around me was listening, even though I wasn't, I mean, I was direct. 
I wasn't rude, but I was very direct. He apologized. He walked on. The next day, one of my coworkers came in and said, good morning, sir. I said, good morning. At the time, I was a front desk manager. Um, they started treating me differently because people knew at that point that I will not be spoken to that way. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> Respect follows when you demand it. It's the same way with family members. If friends, I have a friend of mine, we, and we just had this conversation. We used to joke with each other. Every time he'd walk in the room, I'd be like, what's up, bag? You know, and be like, what's up, you gay fucker? You know, blah, blah, blah. We always bash each other. We thought it was funny. We thought it was cute. We talked about this the other day. And uh, I told him, he goes, he goes, you know, we haven't really picked on each other lately. And I was like, no, we grew out of it. Um, there's really no need for me to name call someone that I respect because it's demeaning of my character. So even if I'm joking and I love the person to death and really, really good friends, there's no reason to call them names. Um, you know, it's, it's just demeaning and I don't want to demean anybody. So here is my topic. Tamara. Hey, Tamara. I love Tamara. She is an amazing person. So amazing. It's awesome. So, hey, I'm glad you're here, Tamara, because you're going to get to hear my next little thing that I've been working on. My next thing that I'm working on is I am so guilty of this and I am trying so hard, but I have to stop calling women girls. Now, let me explain. Okay. When a boy gets to a certain age, he becomes a man. When a girl gets to a certain age, they become a woman. You don't look at a woman who has a career and pays her bills and bought the shoes on her foot and go... Hey, that girl over there, that's demeaning. I think it's demeaning. You should say that lady over there or that woman over there. The, 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 the terminology, we're so caught up on so like gender stuff right now. Forget all that. But the terminology of, of woman and girl and boy and man. If somebody calls me a boy, I'm going to be like, excuse me? I'm not a boy, I'm a man. Uh, I have passed puberty. I pay my own bills. I bought the shoes on my feet. So why in the world do we allow ourselves to do the same thing to women? We shouldn't. Women are the most precious creatures on earth. They are the only creatures that can bring life. Bring children through the womb. Nurse them. Feed them. We should treat them like the queens they are. And not demean them. And I think that my little thing that I'm going to start doing is I'm going to stop referring to women as girls because I think they've earned the right to be called ladies. Now, I will still call a bitch a bitch. There is no doubt in my mind. But trust me, if I call you a bitch, you have earned it in my right because you are a female asshole at that point. So... I will, I will call it like I see it, but if I have respect for someone, especially that's a female, I will no longer refer to them as girls because that just doesn't make sense to me anymore. What is your thoughts on this? Please comment in the comment area and let me know how you feel about this topic. I know some people are going to be like, eh, whatever, dude, blah, but I think that, uh, Showing respect to the world is how we will earn respect for ourselves. And it's little things. I, I have been in situations where I've been with women uh, that do not want me to open the door for them. I can do it. My arms aren't broke. Okay, well, open the door then. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. But that option is still there if you decide you want me to. Because I was raised that I should open doors for ladies. I open car doors. I open it. I don't care where we go. You can ask anybody that has ever been in a car with me ever at any point in time. If a female is with me, even my child, my girl, if my child is with me or a female lady is with me, I open the door before they get in the car. I open the door when they get out of the car. I do that if we go to the freaking gas station to pick up a soda. I don't care because... To me, it's more a security thing. I want to make sure that you get in the car safe. I want to make sure you get out of the car safe. I want to make sure that uh, you're comfortable. 
that's me. That's something that I do. Not all men do that. Not all people do that. And that's okay. There's not, there's, there's a lot of women out there that do not want you to, uh, Tiggy, for example, when Tiggy was down here, Tiggy's like, don't touch my door. I can do it. I'm like, okay, and you open your own damn door then. I don't care. And I don't, she made it point that she didn't want it. And I respected that. Um, but I'm always going to do it unless they tell me differently. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, if I'm dating someone, if I'm actually dating someone, I will hold the door for them, but I'm going to pop their ass as they walk by. Just saying that's going to happen. Okay. Because I firmly believe that if you are seeing someone and a guy and you know, like me and my girlfriend are out and a guy is looking, I'm going to grab her ass. If a girl is looking, I'm going to grab her ass. You know why? Because mine, <laughs> mine. I want the world to know that the girl that I'm there, the, the woman that I'm with, I shouldn't see. There I go again. There I go again. The woman that I'm with is respected, wanted, cared for, and desired. The things that uh, she needs to fill at all times. What are your thoughts on that? Chantelle agrees with everything I'm saying. That's awesome. I don't wait for my door to be open. I open it myself. But yes, I want to be called a woman or a lady. Man, yeah, that works. That looks Lori. And you know, the whole idea about this um, is, is respect and communication. You know what I mean? Uh, Wyland, I'm feeling much better today. Thank you. The fever finally broke. When I was doing the TikTok videos the other day, I promise you at one point in time, my fever was probably about a 104 when I was doing those videos. I was so miserable, but I worked through it. But anyway, fever broke. I'm feeling much better today. I've been referring to everyone as male and female in general. I and mean, yeah, it's it's gotten to a culture that it's hard to identify anyone. I got yelled at one day because I, I said uh, something about a woman. And she goes, um, uh, oh, I know it was, I had talked to her. Let me back up the story. I'll even give you specifics because it doesn't matter. I was talking to Kaz. Now I call Kaz a girl, a woman, whatever. I call her a woman. She identifies as a girl, um, as a woman. Um, well, her boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever at the time wanted to yell at me because I didn't refer. And this is, this is, is her words. I did not refer to her as a him. I was like, well, you didn't either. He's like, what? I was like, you didn't either. You just called him or her. So how am I supposed to know if you don't tell me? Number one, number two, we've already talked about it and I'll call her whatever the hell I want to call her and she's fine with it. So get over it. So the point is we're in a society right now where words are, what do they say? Um, uh, the meaning behind your words is more important than the truth behind your words. I'm like, that's, uh, that's stupid, but that's the kind of society we live in right now. Anyway, ugh crazy men treated women with respect holding doors etc women these days also need to respect men that is absolutely true that is absolutely true and that's the next point that i was going to say i treat ladies and women with respect i treat children with respect i demand respect from everyone uh, all of the talks that we've had recently about self-worth and self-respect and everything else all stems from the, 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 the boundaries of respect. I don't care if it's male, female, child, or llama, you're going to respect me. And if you do not respect me, that's okay. I just won't be around you. It's very simple. I break everything down to the, the micro level of you can do whatever you want to do. You're in America. You're free. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you do certain things, I won't be around. Okay. I'm not going to hang around you and go get in a car with you and drive to the store so you can rob a store. I'm not going to do it. I'm not getting an accessory charge. Right. I'm not going to hop in a car with you and drive over to your friend's house while you murder somebody. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get an accessory to murder charge. So why would I hang around someone if they're going to be rude to other people? 
or going to be nasty to other people or be disrespectful to other people. I'm not going to hang around them. <clears throat> I'm not going to be an accessory to a bully or to a prick. So my, my whole positive note today is don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Does go a long way. Um, but also general kindness, general kindness, please. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really, I really appreciate the fact that you're here today. I really appreciate that you listening to me. Um, I appreciate our conversation. Feeling appreciated is, is, is so rare nowadays. And a lot of people uh, you will find if you talk to therapists, a lot of people's problems stem, and this is going to sound kind of funny from mommy and daddy didn't hug me enough. Didn't get enough attention. Daddy was never proud of me. Mommy was never proud of me. And it wasn't the fact that they weren't. It was the fact that it was never communicated. You understand what I'm saying? You never heard that special person say, I'm proud of you or I'm, I'm happy with what you're doing. You know, cause we always focus on the negative. So my goal in life is to create a happier, more positive atmosphere around me. That makes sense. And I think I've done so. For example, uh, Tamara can tell you, um, that in my work environment as a work professional, I have helped people at my job not only with my job and with doing the job, but actually help them through emotional crises as, as well, just by listening and being a clear voice of reason. Um, giving them someone to talk to that's not going to disrespect them or put them down, but to elevate them and make them feel better. Uh, Tamara, correct me if I'm wrong. Have I done that for people at our jobs? I hope she's still here because if she's not here, then that was wasted. <laughs> Who would have thought a good hearted demon? All, all right. So what is a demon? A demon is nothing more than an angel that was been removed from the sight of God. All demons are fallen angels. The war of heaven. They're still angels. They've just been removed from the sight of God. And I know I have sinned. And I have fallen far from the graces of the Lord a few times. Evet Day. What the hell is Evet Day? <laughs> oh, Tamara said Evet Evet Day. That's some Florida talk right there. I'm telling you, I know it. I just, you got to be in Florida to talk like that. If it day, you know, while I watch her, next thing you know, she's going to be biting somebody's face. <laughs> just kidding. Every day, always. So, yeah, that's the response to what I was saying earlier, that I, I do the best I can to help. And I have proven that over and over again with the people that I interact with. And I hopefully, I hope that that it rubs off. I really do hope that it rubs off and people uh, start making positive changes in their life and become more mentally stable and mentally healthy by expressing their emotions in a positive way. It, it's so freeing to stand up and say, uh, I love me, you know? Uh, Chantel, everyone needs to be re-educated on respect, self-respect and respecting other, others. It's an ongoing thing every single day. Everybody needs the lessons. You know, we have a, we have a lot of stuff going on in our lives. And uh, oh, Jason, you start off your day with thank you so much, sir. That means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, we have so much crap going on in our lives that, that we have, we've lost touch with positive energy we've lost touch with 
<laughs> we've lost touch with um, self-respect, self-worth. And I think it's about dadgum time we get it back, right? Tam Harris says, don't mess with Florida women. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Because <laughs> every time I hear you guys won't believe this, I'm like, what, Florida? <laughs> uh, if I can make one person smile or laugh, I feel my day is complete. I, I'm the same way. If I can make one person feel a little bit less miserable, I, I feel I'm happy. Glenn, I, I'm right there with you. It is, it, you know, Glenn says, I don't know if I can love me. I've done a lot of terrible things in my life. Well, this is what's amazing is you are not, your, your past is not who you are. Your past is simply what you've been through. So you can take well, everything you've done in the past, no matter how bad it is, you can take everything you've done in the past and you can chalk that up to experience and use it to be a better person today and a better person tomorrow, you can look at that and you can say, well, I am definitely not going to do that again. That was wrong of me. And you can learn from it. The, the greatest thing about the universe is the universe doesn't care about the past. The universe only cares about right now. That's it. It doesn't care about the future. It only cares about how are you acting right now? What's happening right now? And if you trust in the universe, the universe will unfold for you. I promise you. And I know it talks like I'm talking mysticism and shit. I'm not. I'm really not. I mean, <coughs> you know, it, 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 put it in simple terms. The bird does not worry about if it's going to eat tomorrow. It goes and finds food. It's there. The universe works the same way for us. We worry about so many things and we put ourselves through so much hell. When if we just trust the universe is going to work out. It will. You're exactly where you need to be right now. And everything that you've gone through and everything that you've done in your past, you've had to do it because eventually you're going to stand in front of someone else who's going through what you went through, look them in the face and go, I understand. I know what it's like. I'm ex-military. I know what it's like to take a life. I know what it's like. And I can sit in front of another soldier and I can talk to a man on man and we can and we can discuss it and we can help him through whatever trauma or her, whatever trauma they're going through. So our past is not an anchor. It's a sail. It's not meant to hold us down. It's to meant, it's meant to push us forward. It's, it's not an anchor on our boat. It's a sail. So use all the bad things that you've done in your past and seriously, seriously use those things to propel yourself forward into a more positive life. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you keep the things you like about you and get rid of the rest. I mean, the truth is, is, is when everything boils down to it, you're, you're not who you were. You're not you, 10 seconds ago. You're not the same person you were 10 seconds ago. You're not going to be the same person 10 seconds from now. You're forever changing because you're amazing and you're a human. Good morning, Crystal. Yeah, so don't let that, don't let your past be an anchor, man. Let it be a cell, 100%. And as soon as you start realizing and you start living a more positive life, trust me, the love will come back. You will find reasons to love yourself. I'm not the best person in the world by any means. I am a complete asshole before coffee. Like you can ask anyone that knows me, my best friend, Michael, my manager, uh, with my, with my acting and everything, that dude straight out will walk in here with a cup of coffee, hand it to me and walk out of the room, come back five minutes and go, have you drank your coffee yet? I'm like, why? No, but cause I want to talk to you. He will not speak to me before I've had coffee because I'm an asshole before coffee. And I don't mean to be. It's just who I am in my core. I have to be caffeinated to speak to me. You know? That's good, Glenn. I'm, I'm hoping it helps you. And if you ever need to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to message me if you need to talk. I've been through some really shitty things in my life. And uh, I'm always free. Um, if I don't answer immediately, I will get back with you. Um, 
but yeah, I'm here. Well, guys, listen, it is 8.03, which means I have been on oh, just over an hour. I think I'll give it a few more minutes because I have to give out all of my little my little um, shameless plugs anyway. And then I'll be getting off here and I'll be going to bed since I've worked all night long. But let's get these plugs out of the way, huh? Stop trying to get approval from the people that mean a lot to me. Yeah, you don't have to get approval from anyone. The only person you have to get approval from is yourself. That's the only person you need approval from is yourself. Once you approve something, everybody else will fall in line. That's truth. Truth, truth, truth. 100%. Once you start respecting yourself, everybody else will fall in line. Truth. Once you start loving yourself, everybody else will fall in line. You don't give them a choice. If they don't fall in line, they, don't, they fall out of your life. It's that simple. All right, so let's do our shameless plugs real quick. We have been listening to Pretzel Radio, Pretzel Rocks. If you, and, and apparently Facebook, I don't think they have an issue with it at this point. I'm not sure. So they haven't locked me off offline. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretzel Radio. I am official Abaddonapollyon.com, or sorry, official Abaddonapollyon on Facebook. I'm monster underscore Abaddon on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. You can go to abaddonapollyon.com, which is at the very top of the screen. If you would like to see the fan pictures or any of the links, so on and so forth. There's also links to Big Big Chris Arts and Cult of Fools on the website where you can buy the awesome Abaddon merch. You can also go to my, my personal Teespring store. The Patreon and the donations are all set up on the website. All of those things go so we can do better feeds and get more equipment and go travel and go see people and go to conventions so we can actually see people face to face get hugs and take pictures all of that money goes to that so anything y'all can do to help would be appreciated 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 that's a mississippi word and then louisiana word something loot florida word appreciated appreciated uh-huh. anyway so thank you so all thank you <laughs> i'm tired Thank you all so much for coming in and hanging with me. Thanks for listening to the algorithms with Facebook and how that works and my little positive morning feed. I'll be here every morning at 7 a.m. If I'm not here at 7 a.m., I will be here at 10. That is my goal. Sometimes I sometimes I have to go to bed when I like I go to bed at like four or five in the morning because I get off work early and I'm so exhausted. So if I am not here at seven, I'll be here at 10. We're going to be putting up a steady schedule here pretty soon, both here and on Mixer. If you're not on Mixer yet, go to Mixer.com. It's just like Twitch TV. And we have a channel there, which is Abaddon Apollyon. All of you, we love you, respect you, and thank you so much for coming again. I will hit y'all up, and I am jumping out of here. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Stay happy, guys. Keep smiling because somebody somewhere needs to see that smile. I promise you. All right. Be blessed. <laughs>